The success of Top Gun Maverick made fans wonder, why did only two members of the original cast appear in the sequel? Discover what challenges Val Kilmer had to overcome to continue acting. Find out why Meg Ryan decided to step away from Hollywood. And learn how Kelly McGillis feels about her character's absence from the movie. Maverick? Does your mother not like you or something? Let's start. Val Kilmer as Tom Iceman Kazansky. The high-flying original movie raised the specter of many of its stars. Val's no exception. The role of Maverick's rival turned ally brought him lead roles in films like The Doors, where he played music legend Jim Morrison, and Batman Forever. I have an appointment. I'm Bruce Wayne. While working on the action movie Willow, Kilmer met fellow actress Joanne Wally. The two got married after a short period of dating and soon welcomed two children. However, their eight-year-long marriage ended in the mid-90s. Val continued making several movies every year. But after his movie Red Planet flopped, he had to look at smaller projects. Unfortunately, his career slump wasn't the biggest challenge he'd have to face. In 2014, Kilmer was diagnosed with throat cancer. Thankfully, after multiple rounds of chemotherapy and one surgery, the actor entered remission. However, his battle with the disease drastically changed his voice and how he talks. I sound but I've been run over by the uh, method. So bringing Iceman back on screen was complicated. Val's voice was recreated using archival recordings and modern technology. Despite all the struggles, 62-year-old Kilmer hasn't retired from acting and we're happy to see him on our screens again. Now, let's talk about the actor who played Maverick's best friend. Anthony Edwards as Nick Goose Bradshaw. Ambitious Rooster is a key character in the new Top Gun movie. He holds a grudge against Maverick for the death of his father and makes Tom face his demons. In the original movie, Goose was played by Anthony Edwards. After Top Gun, his most notable role was in the hospital drama ER. His success has continued with recurring roles in Billions, Law and & Order, and one of Netflix's latest hits, Inventing Anna. Shockingly, in 2017, Edwards revealed that he was sexually assaulted and abused repeatedly by his acting mentor from the age of 12. Now the actor serves as the chairman of a nonprofit organization that helps men with similarly tragic experience. Anthony has a son and three daughters with his ex-wife. And last year, he got married again to his longtime friend and fellow actress, Mayor Winningham. Although Edwards didn't attend the world premiere for Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise made sure he got a special preview of it. I was lucky enough that Tom called me up, he recalled. He screened it for me in person. However, the actress who played Goose's wife wasn't there. Let's find out why. Meg Ryan as Carol Bradshaw. She had only appeared in a handful of TV series when she landed the role in Top Gun. Carol appeared on screen only briefly when she visited Goose at the flight school with their young son. Shortly after that, Ryan's career skyrocketed. Meg starred in hit after hit, starting with the romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, the actress continued to star in a slew of romantic comedies like You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Kate and Leopold with Hugh Jackman. Around this time, Ryan married actor Dennis Quaid and welcomed a son, Jack. The couple divorced a decade later, which coincided with a change in Ryan's career. She grew weary of being an actress and moved on to working in indie films and behind the camera. This year, Meg announced that she's returning to the rom-com world with the movie What Happens Later. She's not only starring in the movie alongside David Duchovny, but she's also directing it. So why wasn't she invited to join Top Gun Maverick? Director Joseph Kosinski explained that he didn't want every storyline to always be looking backwards. That's why Carol appears only in a bit of archival footage from the first movie, just like Maverick's love interest, Charlie. We'll get to the reasons behind her absence a bit later, but first let's look at some memorable supporting actors. Tom Skerritt as Mike Viper Metcalf. He was a well-known actor even before Top Gun. Tom has been acting in films since the 1960s, regularly appearing as soldiers or cowboys. And you might remember him as the captain of the ill-fated spaceship in the sci-fi horror masterpiece Alien. Skerritt continued his career with high-profile parts in films and shows like Steel Magnolias and the drama series Picket Fences. The veteran actor also turned to teaching and entrepreneurship and launched a digital media company. At the same time, Skerritt remains active in his craft. Last year, he starred opposite Mira Sorvino in the drama film East of the Mountains. The 88-year-old actor has been married three times and has five children. 
Next, here's what the Top Gun instructor is up to now. Michael Ironside as Rick Jester Heatherly. This Canadian-born actor started his career in the late 1970s. He often plays intimidating characters in films like Total Recall and Terminator Salvation. Ironside also has an extensive resume, with parts in series like The Alienist and The Dropout. In addition, he voiced Darkseid in the animated series Justice League and Harley Quinn. The actor has been married to his wife Karen for 35 years and has two daughters. Next, we're moving on to Maverick's second wingman. Tim Robbins as Sam Merlin Wells. He became a familiar face by starring in the romantic Bull Durham, Stephen King's The Shawshank Redemption, and the crime drama Mystic River. While filming Bull Durham, he met his future partner, Susan Sarandon. Despite never marrying, the couple were together for a little over two decades and have two sons together. After this very lengthy, high-profile relationship, Robbins secretly married Gratiela Brancusi. She is mostly known for her role in the Yellowstone prequel series, 1883. However, they split in 2020 after three years together. Robbins has continued to act and is currently a part of the upcoming sci-fi show Wool alongside Rebecca Ferguson. Visit our awesome merch shop. We have branded t-shirts, hoodies, eco bags, and even phone cases. You can choose between dozens of unique and awesome designs. Click the link under the video and find your perfect match. James Tolkien as Tom Stinger Jardian. A longtime stage actor, Tolkien found new life on the screen. First as the unforgiving principal Mr. Strickland in Back to the Future, then as a tough talking, cigar smoking aircraft carrier commander in Top Gun. All in all, Tolkien has over 80 acting credits, the most recent of which includes the series A Nero Wolf Mystery and a western Bone Tomahawk. James enjoys his semi-retirement with wife Parma Lee in upstate New York, occasionally appearing in projects like Expedition Back to the Future. Rick Rosevich as Ron Slider Kerner Rick started acting at the same time as Tom Cruise. They even appeared together in the comedy Losing It. After his gig in Top Gun, Rosevich went on to appear with Steve Martin in Roxanne and Charlie Sheen in Navy Seals. He also rejoined Anthony Edwards on the first season of ER. However, in the late 90s, his career began to decline and came to a halt by the early 2000s. Rick began spending more time with his wife and kids in her native Sweden. In one of his interviews, he explained, I've saved my money and invested. I can do what I want. It takes away some of your drive to go out and be a workaholic. Still, he occasionally appeared in smaller features, like the comedy drama Sandbar. Now it's time to learn why Maverick's girlfriend Charlie didn't appear in the jaw-dropping follow-up to Top Gun. But first, check this out. Kelly McGillis as Charlotte Charlie Blackwood Top Gun producer Jerry Bruckheimer noticed Kelly in the movie Witness, where she played opposite Harrison Ford. After the tremendous commercial success of Top Gun, McGillis starred in several critically acclaimed films, such as The Accused alongside Jodie Foster, but mostly McGillis stuck to theater roles and in small independent films. The actress has been married three times, first to a fellow Juilliard student, Boyd Black, then she tied the knot with Fred Tillman, with whom she shares two daughters. However, the couple called it quits after 13 years of marriage. In 2009, Kelly came out as a lesbian. And I wasn't really nervous or thinking about, oh, what is this going to do to my career? I really don't have one right at the moment. Soon, she entered into a civil union with her longtime friend, Melanie Lay. Sadly, their relationship ended a year later. Yet, McGillis has always retained a love for her craft. She found fulfillment on stage, in smaller screen roles, and as an acting teacher. Most recently, she appeared in the TV series Dirty John, The Betty Broderick Story. As for her and Ryan's return in the Top Gun sequel, director Joseph Kosinski was blunt about it. Clearly, their spirits hang over the film in certain ways, he shared, but it was important that we were telling a new chapter of Maverick's life. But Kelly McGillis has other ideas about it. I'm old and I'm fat and I look age-appropriate for what my age is, suggested the 64-year-old actress. Fortunately, she didn't seem to be upset by her very realistic explanation. McGillis added that she left Hollywood to get sober and focus on raising her family and isn't necessarily itching to see the sequel anyway. I guess it depends on what kind of reviews it gets, she shared. Instead of bringing Charlie back, they introduced Penny Benjamin, who didn't appear in the original movie, although she was mentioned several times. You told me all about the time you went ballistic with Penny Benjamin. And finally, we're getting to the major star of both Top Gun movies, Tom Cruise as Pete Maverick Mitchell. 
By the time he was cast as Lieutenant Mitchell, Cruz's fame was already on the rise, but this role blasted him into the stratosphere. Since then, he went on to star in an endless string of box office hits including the Oscar-winning movie Rain Man and Born on the Fourth of July. Still, he's probably best known for the blockbuster franchise Mission Impossible. Cruz was married to actress Mimi Rogers, but they split after three years. Then the romantic drama Days of Thunder introduced him to Nicole Kidman. They got hitched in the 1990s and became parents to two adopted kids. The A-listers parted ways in 2001. Next, Cruz tied the knot with Katie Holmes, with whom he shares a daughter, Suri. Tom and Katie split after five years of marriage and have rarely spoken about it publicly. Still, it's rumored that Holmes' motivation was to free her daughter from the unique constraints of Tom's church. And although Cruz insists that there's no need to protect Suri from his religion, he apparently hasn't seen his kid for years. In 2020, the actor started dating Haley Atwell, whom he met on the set of his latest Mission Impossible movie sequel, but the romance was over by the end of summer last year. However, rumors sparked that they'd gotten back together after Haley appeared alongside Tom at the premiere of Top Gun Maverick in London. Seems like the 60-year-old star is still searching for true love. If you liked this video, if you want to learn more about the Top Gun leading actor, check out our videos about him. Thanks for watching. Support Asa by sending a super thanks. Just click on the thanks button under the video and choose an amount to donate. Stay awesome, and remember, we value each one of you.